Gaffer, 24 teams, 46 games, and Autopilot preparation goes down to the final day. Yeah, well, we've said it was always going to be tough, and every point we've earned this season has been hard fought. And to get promotion, you've got to earn it, and uh, we're going to have to earn it. But you know, on today, I'm really pleased with the way lads have played today. This is a difficult place to come. Um, massive pitch, very hot, sticky conditions, um, but we controlled the game for, for large periods and. You know, it's the 12th away win of the season and in, I said all along that you need certain characteristics to get away wins and uh, we've shown them in, the, in abundance and um, I listed all the 11 for them before the game and we had a chat about each game and the characteristics we've had to show in those, in those games and, and we've shown it again today, we were nice and solid, um, we looked a threat going forward, um, there was a nice calmness about us in, in what was a pressurised game, so absolutely delighted with the three points. We can't condone pitch invasions but you can see what it means to the fans today. Yeah, I think at that stage, um, you know, the goal would have probably taken us up, um, so you can understand that too. But so I didn't see there was any trouble, it was just people came on the pitch and then Port Vale fans came on the pitch also. But the fans gave us a magnificent backing today and you know, they know that that was an important win for us because after the recent results not being great, it's important we got back to winning ways because I feel if we hadn't won today and Fleet hadn't won, even if the points difference would be the same, there'd have been a different feel about next week. You know, the supporters have seen this today, you know, really back to our best control in the game and, and being nice and solid, which we have been all season. Weeks pops up with what he's been doing all season. Yeah, number eight for, for big weeks, and um, you know he's been colossus for his all season, um, on and off the pitch, and I'm very pleased for him. And it's just about now, just um, keeping on nerve, holding everything together next week, and a good week on the training pitch, um, and going out all guns blazing next Sunday, and uh, it'll be a terrific day. Um, to be involved in, in those games, you know, at the end of the season, with everything to play for, is great. We'd love to have got the job done, but we haven't been able to. But now it's up to us to, to keep our call and uh, get over the finishing line next Sunday. Please have Gary Medin back today. Yeah, you've got to give Gaz a lot of credit because um, you know he came in over the last couple of days and you know it was a lot more positive and um, wanted to play. The docs travelled down with us, giving him injection and we strapped it up. Um, and I thought his all-round game was good and he's got the goal and, and he can get another week under his belt now and um, prepare, prepare himself for next uh, Sunday. First start for Jem Karachan, how do you think he did? I thought he was excellent, I thought he played really, really well, he's got loads of energy, he's got good quality on the ball, some of the runs he made second half were, were excellent, he really looked a threat for us, so very, very pleased with his performance and um, you know, he's, he's another player who's, who's been in these situations before, you know, he's played in high profile games when he was at Reading and played in the Premiership and uh, he looked like that player today, you know, who really relished the, uh, the occasion. Jay Spearing seemed to be holding his back as he was coming off. How's he doing? Yeah, he just got whacked. He tw twisted a bit awkwardly in, in that corner um, and he tried to run it off, but it just stiffened up a bit. So, you know, we've got a fantastic replacement in Derek Asidi. And I suppose this must be one of the longest weeks of your career going forward. Yeah, it will be, but I'm pleased to be going into the week with a win. I really am because, um, um, you know, it's been a bit awkward over the last few weeks and we haven't really got our rewards for, for the level of our performance. Um, today we have and uh, that will give us a huge boost of confidence going into next Sunday. And in recent weeks we've been saying X cup final to go, well this is it, this is really one big cup final. Yeah, this is one left now and um, yeah, it's all to play for. Um, you know, the good thing today, we've eliminated Bradford and we've eliminated Scunthorpe and I think that's key because they're two very good sides and Scunthorpe were on a terrific run, um, they're out the equation for the automatic and um, you know, so are Bradford, you know, Bradford had a, um, a fantastic win but our win today uh, makes the gap too big. Thank you. Thank you.